Scott. Hi, Scott Orlam, Cinema Magazine. The new film coming your way is called Richard Jewell. One of the stars of the movie with us, Kathy Bates. So what's it like to work under the tutelage of Clint Eastwood? Oh, I just want to work with him all the time. He's just a wonderful man. He's gentle. He's got a great heart. He loves actors. He really lets us take the reins. Um, he lets us play. And I, I, I remember when I was going through it, Scott, I felt... Is all of this going to be in the movie? You know, because we did one scene where uh, she gets mad at Richard and he's over in the corner and we just keep going until he says stop. You don't ever stop until Clint stops. And um, that's when Nadia comes in with the groceries and, you know, Richard's over in the corner sulking because I've yelled at him and finally get all the food out and I say, come on over here, Richard, come on. So he came in the kitchen and there, there was the empty paper bag and I just put it over his head. <laughs> and Sam said, that can be your new disguise. You know, so it's that, where else could you do that? I mean, I, I, it hasn't been my experience before that, that, that you just play, 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 and then he decides what he wants to use. I think at some point in all of our lives, we've been wrongly accused of something, whether it's a little kid by one of your siblings. You know, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. This takes it to a whole new level. I mean, what happens now if the government and the media get a hold of that and start accusing you? Um... I, I, I really literally cannot imagine it. I, I just think it would be the shame, the embarrassment, uh, the unfairness of it, all of the emotions that would run through you. And, and um, I, I just I can't imagine how horrifying it would be to have somebody come in and go through your grocery, I mean, your, your, you know, your underwear and your groceries and take all kinds of stuff out, personal things. What are you going to find in my drawer? Oh, I didn't know that was in there. And, and all of that would just be so invasive and, and brutal. As an actor, I can't imagine the unique opportunity it is to spend time with a person the real person that you're playing. Mm -hmm. What nuances did you pick up from Bobby? What little things that helped you as an actor portray her? Her spirit. Uh, she's, as they said, the word they described her is, and I said, what is she like? They said, oh, she's a pistol. And um, she reminded me a bit of my mother. Uh, they're both Baptists and um, very vocal about the script. She, when, our, we met, when we met, she brought the script with her because she had made notes. And she'd say, uh, it was, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I have a pound cake side business. She said, no, never. That's ridiculous. I didn't do that. I, may, I maybe made one or two for some. I don't have it. And I'd never call him that, you know. And so she went through the whole thing. And then we, <laughs> this was so Bobby. I started to talk a little bit. And she said, no, no, let's pay attention to, that, <laughs> to this on the script. So she, she at that moment was that strict mother that Richard had. Speaking of Richard, I mean, he in a way is the ultimate outsider. And that when people don't understand, or especially they look at the way he looks, they form judgments. Have, I think we've all kind of experienced that at some point in our life. He's so empathetic. When we yes. Did, did you relate at all to that? Sure. Um, you know, I've had a weight problem all my life, and, and I think people look at me in a certain way and the kind of embarrassment of that. And, you know, people have always said, you know, you've been there from the very beginning with me that, you know, I'm not a Hollywood type, and what are you doing? You're not Michelle Pfeiffer. And, and that was back in the 90s. And so it was, uh, it was a bit hard, you know, at times to get through. And um, that kind of perception is so shallow. That's the thing, I guess, when you, more than anything, you realize the person that you're talking to is not someone you want to get to know. Well, I'm glad I get to know you. Thank Kathy you. Bates, you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. The film is called Richard Jewell. This is Scott Orland. Until next time.